we created this uh, glass bottle we added the neck and then today we are going to use the shell tool and also the dome tool to make it more realistic so this is the this is a solid geometry but we need an empty bottle to create an empty geometry or empty uh, object we need to use the shell tool which is right here so when you select the shell tool it asks you to select where you want to start and it usually starts with the open surface or the open end so here is usually the open area so you use this uh, before I do that I want to apply uh, a fillet here let me cancel this I want to apply a fillet here because usually there is a fillet in, on the neck of glass bottles otherwise the, the bottle may break from the neck during the production or during the filling so I would go here select the fillet and this is too much so reduce it to 0.1 and see how it looks like yeah, this is much better and apply the fillet so now we can go back here and select the shell tool so when you select the shell tool it asks you to select the surface or the open end surface and you can show the preview to see how it looks like when you apply the shell so always use the preview to make sure that how it looks like so now as okay probably is a little bit thick so it could be 0 0.07 or 0 0.08 and then you can click on okay so now we have an empty bottle. Um, I want it to be more uh, visually inspectable, so uh, I would like to change the appearance of this to glass and enable you to see the inside. So go here under material and then right click edit material and these are some of the defined materials in SOLIDWORKS so under other materials go down and under other materials uh, so sorry uh, not uh, other metals uh, other non-metals you should be able to see the glass so select glass and apply it to the object and then close it now you can see this uh, with a transparent view so you can see how the object looks like and um, the next step I want to add a rim here right here to the edge of this neck to make sure that it is more realistic in terms of production of an object so go to the front view and I use the front plane and then go to a sketch and create a sketch I want to add a rim so I can create a three-point arc start from here and something about this and right here so I want to add this rim to the neck of this bottle and we need to enclose this sketch and we need to have a center line To use the revolve tool. 
so center line and then close the sketch and then we can go here to features and use the revolve tool and it revolves that around this neck click OK and there you go so we have a nicer bottle here and I want to add a fillet here on this edge to make it more realistic again we don't have any sharp edges for the glass products so I apply the fillet so it could be the same uh, and this is a nice fragrance bottle or something like that and um, the next is that we want to use the shell, uh, the doom tool. When we produce a glass bottle during the production, there are basically two uh, major processes for creating a glass bottle: blow below uh, process and press below process. So, in all cases, there is usually uh, more thickness here at the bottom of the glass bottle and you can see them in different uh, perfume glass bottles so to apply that uh, you need to select this surface which is the eternal surface or the bottom surface of this glass bottle right and then use the doom tool and the doom tool allows you to add more thickness or curvy thickness to the surfaces which makes this glass bottle more realistic so you can increase or decrease the amount of the doom by moving this here so probably point one is okay and when you were happy you can click okay to fix it so now we have a nice fragrance bottle and we use the doom tool and we use the shell tool to make it empty